Hey there folks, I'm Matt and with me are uh, Jenny and Kai. We're getting you set for Wednesday's edition of the Daily Herald and uh, we got about 25, well, 25 days till Christmas. Uh, but Jen, uh, let's get started. You've been working all day on a pretty uh, important story about some numbers that uh, people in the Ronald Valley should take interest in. Yep, well, once a year they come up with the school report cards and each individual school is given a letter grade and uh, this year we actually got to compare it to last year because the state used the same letter grades. So it's going to be kind of a revealing. Some districts stay pretty even. Some had improvement in some schools and some didn't. And people should keep in mind these numbers were released in February of this year for right. last year. But now they're releasing the new numbers. A little this bit time. earlier. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and on a lighter note, Kai, uh, people around the area are getting ready for... Uh, Christmas festivities, including here in Roanoke Rapids. Uh, tell us about what's going on for uh, the parade here in town. Right, uh, I got a chance to speak with uh, John Simeon, the director of the Parks and Recreation uh, Department. Now he's revealed to me there are uh, several new things coming up for the parade to keep things fresh, to keep you know people want to come back and more. I can't reveal that quite yet. I don't want people to read the story, but um, it's pretty cool. Okay. Well, that sounds like it ought to be a good story. Um, look for these stories and more inside the Wednesday paper.